4.2 light years away, orbiting the red dwarf Proxima Centauri, lies a world we call Proxima Centauri b. It's a super Earth, about 17% more massive than our planet, locked in a tight orbit, just 11 days for a single year. Scientists believe it sits within the star's so-called habitable zone. But what does that really mean? Could it support life? Or is it nothing more than a hostile wasteland? Today, we're going to find out. Welcome aboard. Today, we begin our journey to Proxima Centauri v. It is the closest exoplanet to us, just 4.2 light years away. Scientists believe it lies within the habitable zone of its red dwarf star. Just over 12,000 kilometers wide, Proxima Centauri b is a super Earth, circling its star once every 11 days. But the real question is, what? What would it be like to land there? Powering up main systems. Flight computers online. Proxima Centauri b is our closest exoplanet neighbor, yet it lies 4.2 light years away, more than 40 trillion kilometers. To put that into perspective, with today's fastest spacecraft, the journey would take over 6,000 years even traveling at a fifth, the speed of light, a technology we can only dream of. The trip would still last more than two decades. Reaching this world is beyond our current limits. But for now, we can imagine what it might be like to stand there. Proxima b belongs to a system of three suns, Alpha Centauri a, golden and bright, Alpha Centauri b, glowing orange, and Proxima Centauri, the small red dwarf whose violent flares dominate this world. Out there are three stars, Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. That's right, this system has three suns. Triple star systems are rare, but this one is real, and one of those stars has a planet we might stand on. We're starting our descent onto Proxima B. Get ready for entry. Surface conditions stable. Low light, thin atmosphere. This place is unlike anything we have seen before. Proxima b orbits within what scientists call the habitable zone, the distance where liquid water could exist. But orbiting a red dwarf star is risky. Flares, radiation, and tidal locking mean that being in the habitable zone doesn't guarantee a world fit for life. That red light above me, it comes from Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf. Small, faint, but active. It's cooler than the sun, but its flares are violent. Radiation here could be deadly without protection. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri live far longer than stars like our sun. While our sun may last another five billion years, Proxima could burn for trillions. A stable power source on cosmic timescales, their smaller size also means their habitable zones are closer in, making planets like Proxima b easier to detect and study.
Proxima Centauri is unstable. Unlike our sun, it's unpredictable, violent. But longevity comes with a price. Proxima is far dimmer than our sun, shining at just one ten thousandth the brightness. Its habitable zone is so close that any planet is bombarded by powerful flares, X-rays, and radiation storms. Instead of nurturing life, these violent outbursts strip away atmospheres and make survival almost impossible. Despite its small size, its flares are extreme, releasing powerful radiation without warning. Even if Proxima B once had an atmosphere, its star may have torn it away. Constant flares and radiation storms blast the planet, stripping gases into space. Without a strong magnetic field to shield it, the thin air would vanish over time, leaving the surface exposed, dry, and deadly. If the research is correct, this planet cannot support life. I'll examine the atmosphere here myself. Thin atmosphere detected, trace amounts of CO2, methane, nitrogen. This planet is tidally locked, one side in eternal daylight, the other in endless night. On the day side, temperatures are scorching. Water could never survive here. On the night side, Everything is frozen solid, trapped in permanent darkness. Proxima B is tidally locked to its star. One side of the planet bakes in constant daylight, scorched by the red dwarf's glow. The other is trapped in eternal night, frozen beneath endless darkness. Only along the thin twilight band between them might conditions balance a fragile refuge where life could survive. The only possible refuge would be the Terminator, the thin strip between blazing day and frozen night. This world is tidally locked and the only place that might sustain life is the Terminator zone. Here, day and night meet. Temperatures balance between scorching heat and frozen darkness. If life exists here, this narrow twilight band may be its only refuse. To know if this planet has an atmosphere, scientists watch carefully as it passes in front of its star. The starlight penetrates the planet's atmosphere, and with spectroscopy, we can read its chemical fingerprint. To search for atmospheres on distant worlds, scientists use transit spectroscopy. When a planet passes in front of its star, some of the starlight filters through its air. By splitting that light into a spectrum, we can see chemical fingerprints, gases like carbon dioxide, methane, or water vapor that reveal if a world might be habitable. To detect a planet's atmosphere, scientists often use transit spectroscopy. But for Proxima b, this method doesn't work. Even if it did transit, Proxima Centauri is unstable. Constant flares and brightness shifts drown out the signals we need. But for Proxima b, transit spectroscopy is impossible. From Earth's view, the planet never passes in front of its star, so no starlight filters through an atmosphere. And even if it did, Proxima Centauri is so unstable, its constant flares and brightness shifts would drown out the signal. Okay, now I'll take you with me into the dark side of this planet. Let's see what eternal night looks like. 
I'm crossing into the night side now. A world locked in endless darkness. On the far side of Proxima B lies a world without dawn. Eternal night stretches across frozen plains yeah. temperatures where temperatures fall hundreds plunge of degrees hundreds below of degrees freezing. below zero. Even gases would collapse Without into the solid warmth ice. of its star, this hemisphere is locked in silence and ice. An alien landscape shrouded in perpetual darkness. No light, no warmth, only silence and frozen death. This night side is a world of eternal stillness. I'm on my way back to the ship. There's nothing left to discover here. Only a dead, hostile world. No, a solar storm. If I don't reach the ship in time, I'm finished. I made it, just in time. Preparing engines for launch. No, not now. The storm is here. The greatest threat here comes from radiation storms. Proxima Centauri unleashes powerful flares, blasting the planet with X-rays and charged particles. These storms can strip away the atmosphere saturate the surface with deadly energy, and make survival on Proxima B almost impossible. Proxima Centauri B lies in the habitable zone, but scarred by radiation and locked in extremes. It may never host life, yet it reminds us how precious Earth truly is.